first step is just taking the deck off. After you've took the deck off, just rip everything out. The only things that you'll need to leave in are your motor wires, your charging wire here, your power switch. Just chop the two wires off your controller so you've got two wires for the power switch. And then everything else can go, these can both go. One is your brake wire and the other is your throttle. Um, you can use the brake wire if you want to, that just cuts the power to the motor um, when you're throttling or when you're braking, I mean, when you're braking it cuts the power to the motor. But you don't need that, it's a waste of time. Okay, um, we need to get all these wires into this connector block, um, but you'll have to do them one at a time. If you try and do the two wires at the same time, you'll burn them up and you'll have a fire. So we'll try and do all the negatives first, and then we'll do all the positives after. Once you've got all your negatives stripped like this, then you can put them into one side of the connector. Oh. When you're done, you should end up with something like this. Right, we're going to replace all these type connectors with XT60s because these connectors burn up at 500 watts and they just melt and set your scooter on fire. Um, the way you do that is, you can just chop them off um, or you can put a screwdriver inside there, a really small nail, and get the connectors off. Okay, it's took us about half an hour. Uh, all the power wires go into this connector and um, we've replaced the motor wires with XT60 connectors there to stop them burning up in future. Um, you can swap them round if the motor's going the wrong way, no problem. Um, the throttle wire, they just click straight in, we didn't have to do anything with that at all. So there's no point buying a fast scooters kit, you can buy these generic kits for eight or nine pounds and the throttle wire goes straight, just plug straight in. The charging port, even that plug straight in, but the polarity was wrong, so we had to swap the white, we had to swap the red and black round. You just use a very small nail again, swap the connectors round, bingo, that's done. Um, to get the indicator on the throttle, um, we just put the yellow wire in with the throttle switch. Um, the switch, not the throttle switch, the power switch. So the power switch on the side. Um, that works, there you go, that works. Uh, what did we do with the power switch? Um, we cut the connector off, the red and blue connector, we cut that off, that's the power switch, and we connected it onto the two red wires here, and then we put the yellow wire, which is the voltage indicator for your display, which is here, we put the yellow wire in there, no problem. And now it's... <laughs> It's all done. Takes about half an hour. Really easy. All done. All fitted.